Well, what's up guys? I'm Jasmine and school is upon us. School is coming back in about a month. I know it's sad. It's July 19th, the day that I'm recording this. August is around the corner. Sorry, let me not have a meltdown. I'm not even going back to school. <laughs> But I'm still like having a meltdown for y'all. But anyways, back to school shopping, planners, notebooks, all that jazz. That's probably the the only fun part about going back is buying new stuff, right? So that being said, I made a digital planner and I'm going to show you guys a tour of it. It's on Notion. Um, so I'm going to show you a quick overview and then I'm going to show you an example of what it looks like once it's filled out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. When you download this template, the first thing you're going to do is come up to these three dots in the upper corner and hit duplicate. That way you always have a master copy of this planner and you can reuse it over and over and over and over again. Okay. So now this is the front page. The first section it shows you all of your courses that you're in. Now my primary target audience is for people who are in college, but I still wanted it to be high school friendly. So the template starts off with eight classes. If you don't, if you're not taking eight classes per semester, you can just go here and hit delete. But I wanted it to be high school friendly too, so I started out with eight. Below that, there is a quick class schedule where you can put um, the name of your class and then the times that that class meets. And this stays the same throughout the whole semester. So it's easy to just like quickly glance at it, see what day it is. Okay, I have this class and whatever, you know what I mean? Scroll down and then here's the part where you would write your daily tasks on a physical planner. Um, you have a part where you can click add new to do and you can add another thing that you need to do if you need more space and then I know what you're thinking well how do you keep this up for the entire semester if there's only like one week's worth of spaces here what you do is at the end of each week you would come over here and highlight everything right here hit delete and then press this button that says new week and it'll generate a new set of to do spaces for you. Below that there is a calendar overview. Now there's two calendars here, one for your deadlines, one for your lectures. So um, typically in college you get a syllabus and the syllabus will break down the lecture schedule. So what topic you're talking about per class. So the first one is assignments and exams and this is just an example of what it will look like. It'll show you every class that you have assignments due for um, and the same thing goes for lectures. So it'll show all the lectures for all of your classes. Now I didn't fill this completely out. This is just the template to show you what it'll look like but now I'm going to go to the one that I've actually filled out in more detail to like show you, show you what this has. So this is one that I've already kind of filled out and I just put some example classes that I took when I was in college because I was an exercise science major. Um, so this is a typical semester worth of classes and the thing about these course tiles at the top is you can click on it and if I want to make it full screen, I'm going to click these arrows. And there's a place where you can put your course code. So a course code is basically an abbreviation. So I'm going to just say kinesiology 1311, something like that. That would be your course code. And then you can choose what semester you're currently in. So whether it's fall, spring, summer, May semester, winter semester, accelerated or other. Since fall is coming, I'm going to put fall. Um, instructor, we're going to put um, Tom Cruise. Shout out to his new movie coming out. I don't know that man. Anyways, and then you can put office hours. Let's just say it's from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. And then here you can in here you can add your syllabus. So depending on the type of Notion account you have, 
I have a free account, so as you can see, it says the maximum size per file is five megabytes, or you can embed a link to your syllabus. If you have a free account, I recommend just uploading your syllabus, a copy of your syllabus to like Google Drive or something, and then just share the link to your Google Drive that has the syllabus on it, if that makes sense. And then below here, this is the part where you input all of your assignments that you have due. Um, and so you put the name of the assignment and then in the type column you can put whether it's a homework assignment, an exam, or a project. Next to that you mark the due date um, and I have this one for July 18th so that I could show you the time left column where it'll show you how many days you have left to turn in the assignment. So July 18th was yesterday, so it says one day overdue. Now, if it was due today, it'll say zero days remaining because you have less than 24 hours. And if I put it for tomorrow, it'll still say zero days remaining because it's, it the way the formula is set up for this, I'm assuming it counts one day as a full 24 hours. So unless you have over 24 hours, to turn something in it's gonna say zero days remaining but I like this anyway because if you see this and it says zero days remaining you're gonna be like oh crap I need to hurry up and get this done so yeah if it's due in two days it'll say one day remaining because you have at least 24 hours hopefully that makes sense but don't think too hard it's just there to tell you that time is winding down okay <laughs> Over here on the status column, you can of course mark whether it's start, not started, in progress, or if you finished it. And then this class column, this correlates with the big calendar on the front page. So don't touch this, okay? I already set it up to where all you have to do is customize the name of your courses. And I'll have an in-depth tutorial for you so that you know how to do all of that. Um, but yeah <laughs> so don't touch this this class column should match the name of the course title that you clicked on um, and then next to this table there's a tab with a calendar view and this calendar view shows you all of your assignments for just this class so it's a little bit more focused below that Oh, and it shows a little tag, so it'll show if it's a homework assignment, an exam, a project, etc. Below that, we have the lecture schedule. The same idea, you put the date of the lecture and whatever chapter you're going over. Um, and then over here for status, it shows whether or not it's an upcoming lecture. If you've started the lecture but your teacher didn't finish going over the topic, you could just put in progress. And if you've already finished talking about that, you can put finished. And then of course, calendar will show you all lectures for just this class. So then going back to the main page, this is where you fill out your schedule. I filled it out with all the hypothetical class names and times and then the weekly task I already showed you how to refresh it for to add a new week and then your calendar with all of your classes so on this calendar I don't know if you could tell but it shows the name of the classes below the type of assignment that it is so it shows all the different types of classes you have and what's due for each class per day very simple straightforward that's it okay and then of course there's a lecture version so if you have um lectures for more than one class i didn't fill it out all the way because i didn't want it to be overwhelming it can be overwhelming if you have a lot going on that's why i have um calendars on the individual classes as well so it's a little bit more focused if that's what you need but yeah, I just wanted to make a template that was as straightforward as a paper calendar, but gave you a little bit more organization for your classes. The link is in the description. It is $3. Now before you run away, okay, it's $3 and you can use it over and over and over again because Notion is connected to the internet. 
so it it'll update the calendar according to real life so it's not like a paper calendar where it expires it never expires you can go back to your master template and duplicate it semester after semester year after year so i think that's a really good price <laughs> for a digital planner especially if you're like me and you only use your planner for a month and then you remember it like three months later <laughs> Um, so you're spending money on something that even if you forget to keep up with your planner when you do remember you can go back and still use it again and again and again so I think three dollars is a decent price I I had to do some research on like what students were you doing in their notion when I was coming up with this so I want to shout out a few people who have templates also and I think some of theirs are free so shout out to Kai notebook Shout out to Cajun Koi Academy and shout out to Faye Films. Those three creators, I looked at what they did as students and I tried to incorporate some things that would help you guys as students as well. So if you want to try to find something free, feel free to check those three creators out as well. I will link video I will link their videos in the description also. But yeah, comment down below either what grade you're going to or what major you are if you're in college hopefully you guys like this template hopefully you guys have a great school year please enjoy the rest of your summer be safe make smart choices okay enjoy each day for what it is okay because when school starts i'm praying for y'all okay that's all i'm gonna say i i done been through college already I get tired just think about it okay but i wish you guys the best thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in my next video